Hello, this is your uh, captain speaking. We are in uh, the Hana Airport, Maui. Why? And we're going to take it for a little tour. Let's see, let's prep here, do a checklist. Normal, uh, normal takeoff. Brake applied. Let's do fucking automated that. So there's. Engine instruments, good, we're good, we're in release. With five knots, we're gonna raise the tail. Whoa, 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 whoa. why am I going that way? Lift off. This is a uh, Microsoft Flight um, spiritual successor or sequel to Microsoft Flight X. Um, came out earlier this week, and they're doing a different model compared to the uh, other franchise uh, earlier games. This is a free-to-play game. It drops you, it, instead of having the whole world, uh, this free-to-play game, Microsoft Flight, is a, uh, takes place in Hawaii at first. Uh, the free-to-play gives you, I think, two planes right at the back. Leveling gives you an extra plane, I think. And then, um, uh, you can buy two planes. Um, that's what I did. So pretty much, it's, I think, 35 bucks you can buy everything in this game. It's not that bad. I mean, technically, it's kind of overpriced. Because there's not much to this. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's missions, and there's, of course, like little caches you can get. Right now, this is this, this is actually really good modeling of the Hawaii Islands. It, uh, you get the big island right off the bat. For uh, 20 bucks, you can get um, the rest of Hawaii, Maui, Manai, Kualabi, Molokai. Oahu, is it Kauai? And Niha. Beyond that, I think it's pretty scarce. It's pretty detailed. I never played the uh, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, X. It's kind of expensive too. It's like 30 bucks on Games for News. Xbox Live. We'll just fly around here. Uh, unlike it's really bare bones. Uh, there's no increased speed, all that stuff. So we're gonna also change the cam. Well, wow. like a top down. Seems so now like this is actually a live uh, view too. This is I think really cool. So I'm using Xbox 360, it maps real well, which is, I, I like it a lot. Um, also, this joystick. So it's, I mean, it's actually really nicely done for free to play, because, you know, you can do the checklist. Um, or you can just press B to start the engine. We're flying over Kenai right now, the peninsula on the north shore of Maui. If I press M right here, it gives me a uh, full-blown map. This is everything. 
there's all different strips and stuff. All real, real air, air strips right here. And then if I press M, go back in. Left on the floor. Let's see. A lot of this is not real. A lot of this is the, the terrain, the, the 3D modeling is pretty correct, but the, uh, the environment, ecology, it's actually very dense jungle here. But, I mean, it did work with it. It's actually, I mean, you can't just pick it apart this game. It's, it's free to play. It's really good. Um, I guess if you don't have the wine pack, uh, the Hawaii Avenger pack, it, this game, uh, Maui, Oahu, and all that rest of the islands look like it's from N64 days. But you can still fly there. You're going to get a warning saying, yo, uh, buy this if you want the detail. Some of the major roads are correct, like that building. There's no buildings here in this, in, in this part of the island. Shit, level it up, level it up. Whoa, whoa, Jesus. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck. Yeah, of course, they didn't render crash models. Okay, let's try another plane. So you get um, five planes. You can get the uh, Malu, Orion. It's like 1,200 Microsoft points, and then the PT Mustang is 600. The PT Mustang doesn't have a cockpit, which I think is stupid. At first, you get the uh, Icon A5 and the Boeing um, Sturman. And then later on, you get the uh, RV. I like the Icon A5 because it's amphibious. Also, I got those cool skins. You got a bunch of different skins you can put on. And okay. Let's take this guy. Um, select aircraft. And then we can just press back M and we're up in the air again. So this is an amateur aircraft. Throttle. We can zoom in. Some of these work, like interior lights, exterior lights. Let's see if it doesn't work. Shit. Up the GPS. GPS is okay. It doesn't help that much. But it's cool to look at. All these dials are real time. Turn off the battery. So the, the planes fly pretty simply, pretty simple. You can use a uh, mouse and keyboard, or just a keyboard, which is kind of cool. Now there is radio dials here too. Um, don't know if they work. They never seem to type any audio. But when you look at a aircraft, this might be on a new. What's the next one? Uh, used to go camping there. It's really cool. I do plan on doing like some, a series of this because I, I like flying. It's really fair. I've been playing this a little, quite a bit and then playing Battlefield 3. The controls for me are a little different. Like the triggers right now are uh, the, f uh, the steering, the. Y'all know. The pitch? I don't know. 
can see uh, left and right. But on the um, Battlefield 3 for the helicopter, which I think you should play, this might be haunted right here. Uh, I have the bumpers as uh, the pair on left and right. And there's also different challenges you can do in here. Uh, there's multiple player too, which is pretty cool, but you really just fuck around. Sweet Jesus. Let's see, activities and missions and all that stuff. Each each air, uh, airport has their own little kind of job board you can do. Um, most of these you you need the um, uh, twelve hundred Microsoft point uh, aircraft because it's cargo and all that stuff. You can do fly, but this one's a really stupid one. And then there's uh, uh, missions you can do, like challenges and stuff. So as you pro if you get better at uh, challenges, you uh can, um, you know, progress more and get unlocked st uh, skins. And there's air caches, which are like... Things. I already got that. Okay. But I already got that one. No, I did already get that one. Let's see here. Bellows, my key. There's like some really stupid ones. Um... Yeah, a curvature of the earth, you have to fucking be up at 80,000 feet. Um, okay. Um, like river. Let's get something easy. Oh, this one, yeah. This, I know, the exact... Wow, it's, it's the world's largest banyan tree? That's bullshit. But I know where it is. It's in Lahaina, Maui. Some of the real known areas, uh, like Waikiki, Pearl Harbor, they're actually really modded well. Airports are also modded well too. There's nothing behind it, this is Kapalua. Yeah, some of these hotels, like some of this is just generic. None of this actually is uh, Maui. The, the tiling down there, see right below us is, uh, there's no houses. It's actually condos. And then all up in here, all up in there, there's actually some housing. Uh, Sugarcane has been phased out on this side of the island. There's supposed to be a... Oh yeah, Sheraton's up ahead. Noise up. Of course, it's just housing up here to you. Okay. To our right, we have Black Rock. Very famous uh, landmark in Hawaii. Tourists go there, but it used to be known for uh, sacred wines. We just build a hotel on it. Now, this la lagoon here area, I don't know why they put that in. Maybe because they thought it was like natural, but like, there is a golf course through here that has some ponds. It's not natural. Why they? They didn't even bother taking just going to Bing.com and looking at the aerials. They just put in some generic shit. Ooh, 
Whirlers Village should be down here, another popular spot. Then Lahaina. I think all, most of this is considered Lahaina on the map, but below us is uh, Katapali. Can you get uh, Katapali Beach Park? Okay. Popular tourist destination. The water is in between these islands, um, Yamanai, Molokai. Molokai might be a little bit too tall. And Koalabi, it's really blue. Like a dark blue, not this light blue shit. And, uh... And it's pretty shallow, too, compared to the rest of the islands. Uh, what if I was not there? This main strip of road right here, the big road, is kind of correct. And that little road is Front Street. So, that canal there, that's correct. There's really no one to it. This is an old uh, abandoned pier that's been torn up to bits. here. It's, it's coral. A lot of it comes to the surface on low tide. Um, that smokestack that's in old Pioneer Age um, It's so easy for me because I know where exactly a lot of these are. And this harbor looks good. Lighthouse. Uh, smokestack. Actually, this smokestack is a. It's a, doesn't work anymore. It used to be a sugarcane plantation uh, thingy, but now it's gone. And that's a natural landmark, or not a natural, but a man-made landmark. Land this in the water. Call it. So I don't know. I mean, this game's pretty fun. Fucking around in the beginning is pretty cool. But I don't know. I, I'm pretty much a sucker for anything Hawaii. Um, Cause I like Hawaii. This, of course, doing this wrong. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep on playing. You guys have fun. Yeah. 